What's up, y'all? This is Gray Man 47 coming back at you with another video. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you've never subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell so that you'd get notifications whenever I put out new videos. Today's video, I'm going to talk about, um, show you what I got in terms of my ammo acquisition recently. Um, I know I did one not too long ago, but every so often I'm going to try to give you an update on uh, my attempts to acquire ammo during this crazy, crazy time and over this shortage, this ammo shortage. So hang in there with me and uh, check out what I got. Okay, so before I start bringing out the ammo that I did purchase, I just want to say that I do try to purchase ammo uh, so that I can go to the range just like everybody else. But at the same time, I try to purchase them at a reasonable price and I try to refuse to pay astronomical prices um, when uh, you know these companies or these stores are charging us so much for ammo nowadays because I truly believe, as I said in my first video, is that if we continue to pay these astronomical prices, they're gonna keep charging. So um, I try to look for things that are fair. I scour places uh, as I go. Every time I'm out, if I'm near any um, store, big box store, little store, mom and pop shop uh, that might sell ammo, I check. And if I can find something that's reasonable, I pick it up. If the prices are too high, which many times they are, I just leave them on the shelf and I walk out. So let's take a look at what I got so far. All right, so the first um, set or, or group of ammunition that I was able to acquire, I actually purchased from a smaller mom and pop shop, a local dealer near me. And there I was able to find some CCI 22 long rifle quiet 22s. So these are supposed to have a little less sound, a little be a little bit uh, more quiet, hence the name quiet 22. Uh, these are 50 rounds and these actually uh, cost $5.99 for the round or for the uh, box of 50. So I got those for $5.99. I also picked up at that same store some Remington 22 Golden Bullets, uh, 22 long rifle also. And this is actually a uh, container of 100 rounds, which I got for $9.99, which I don't think was too bad of a price, uh, actually for both of these. And then I also was able to snag a 50 box of the Federal Premium HSTs in nine millimeter. These are actually my favorite um, premium ammos for nine millimeter that I carry in most of my nine millimeters. Um, so I was able to uh, pick up this box for $38, which isn't too bad uh, for uh, the 124 grain 50 round box of Federal HSTs. So again, those are my favorite uh, nine millimeters. I like to run those quantity, um, critical defense and I also like to run spear gold dots in nine, in nine millimeter for my premium ammo as well. The next set that I got was also from another local store near me. Um, these are the Federal Champions uh, 357 mags. I don't see 357 mags where I'm at very often at all, nor do I see uh, 38 specials. So I did snag these. These were 29, they were actually 28.99 a box. Uh, for 50 rounds of 357 mag, 158 grain. Um, so I, I couldn't pass these up just because I simply never find uh, 357 mags or um, 38 specials for my revolver uh, very often at all. All right, so next up, I also purchased this at one of my local uh, stores as well. Um, and this was actually a pretty good snag, I thought. It is uh, a box of 325 uh, 22 long rifles, the federal target grade ammunition, uh, which is pretty good ammo uh, for plinking. So I did pick this box up of 325 rounds and I got this box for $22. So, you know, again, not a bad, a bad deal at all. So I did pick these up from one of my local dealers as well. All right, next up, this actually came from one of the big box stores. Uh, Dunham Sports and Dunham Sports had some blazers, um, blazer ammunition in nine millimeter rounds or uh, boxes of 50 rounds, and they had these for $19.99. So, you know, obviously, I couldn't pass these up. These are 115 grain um, rounds for nine millimeter. Great target ammunition. I actually got two boxes of these, I was able to stack two. They had a store limit of three boxes in each caliber. 
um, but there are only two left on the shelf, so I did grab the last two. So I just, I actually just made it in on time. And I do kind of know when their truck is in, so I try to get in there when their truck arrives. Um, obviously, I got there a little bit late this day, and there were only two boxes left, so I was fortunate enough to grab those. The last um, group of ammunition that I was able to acquire was also at a different Dunham's sports uh, store. And there I was able to find two boxes of the Blazer 22 long rifle. These boxes are the 50 round uh, boxes uh, and they are 40 grains, $4.99 for each. So again, you are only allowed three boxes um, of each, but uh, I believe I got the last two because I didn't see uh, any more of these as well. So I did grab two boxes of those. I was also able to snag a box of Winchester white box 9 millimeter 115 grain and these were $22.99 which isn't the best price uh, in the world but uh, it's still fair in, in my area so I was still pleased with $22.99 for this box of Winchester white box uh, 100 or I'm sorry 50 rounds of that also at the same denims I was able to pick up another box of Winchester white box 9 millimeters but this was the 100 round value pack and this uh, 100 round pack was $45.99 so 46 bucks um, which is essentially the same as one of the 50 round bo uh, boxes but again this is a 100 round box and I believe these are 115 yeah they're 115 grain um, Winchester 9 millimeter white box uh, ammo this one I actually lucked out on because I got there I think pretty much too late because all the pistol caliber um, ammunition was gone off the shelf. Um, and when I walked in, I was looking, I saw that there was none. And right as I was about to leave the shelf, a young lady walked around the corner and said, hey, are you looking for nine millimeter? And I'm, yeah, absolutely. And so she handed me this box. She said, my husband and I have enough, here you go. So I was able to, to snag this one box of 100 uh, rounds of nine millimeters. So that was that was pretty lucky. And I was uh, very thankful to that young lady for giving me that box. So there you have it, folks. This is what I acquired, like I said, within uh, over the last three days or so. Um, I had to go from store to store to store and pick up a few things here, a few things there. But that's just kind of the nature of, uh, you know, the shortage right now. And like I said, I try to pick up things that are reasonably priced or at least somewhat reasonably priced. Um, at some point though, you know, you have to have to pay a little bit more than I want to simply uh, in order to grab ammo and be able to shoot at the range. So, you know, if you guys have any tips out there, let me know. I know that one of the things that people do is they go online and they try to purchase ammo from like the federal website or from Six Hours website. Uh, and I've tried to do some of those things. I just haven't had any luck. One time I actually was on the Six Hours website and I was all ready to go. I had my credit card number and I had the things in my wish list. And then it came, I kept hitting refresh. It came, um, came up as add to cart. I added what I needed to my cart, but right when you look at the cart, it didn't have anything in it. It was a zero. So I kept playing with it, trying to add, trying to add. And then I, later I realized that you have to click on that cart and then it'll show you what things are in your cart and how many things are in your cart and you can make the purchase. By the time I figured that out, they had sold out. So I lost out. That was the closest I ever got to actually purchasing uh, the, the ammo on the Six Hour website. Other than that, I've tried many a times and uh, no luck. Uh, even getting up at 4.40 in the morning, uh, getting on the website and trying. So uh, if you have any good tips out there for me or for the other viewers, you know, leave it in the comments section. Uh, like I said in the first video, we got to work together uh, and help each other out with this shortage and, and the acquisition of ammunition at this point. So like I said, if you have anything, leave it in the comments. All right. If you like this content, please hit the like button. Give, give me a thumbs up and also smash that subscribe button and hit the little bell so that you get the notifications every time I put out content. All right. I want to thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all of your uh, support and your comments. Please keep them coming. And like I always say, if you ain't packing, you're slacking. I'll see you when I see you.